What's going on, Screaming Eagles? It's Jet Eagle 101 here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. In our last video, we were helping the Mexican army out. In exchange, they would help us find Javier Escuela. But it seems very suspicious that we have not got any information at all. Basically, an empty promise. So, we are going back. We are going to talk to Captain DeSanto. And try and get some information out of him that he promised. Now before we do that, I just want to remind you guys, if you like the game so far, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit it down in the comment section. While we part of the Screaming Eagles with more exclusive content, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jed Eagle 101 Alright. Come on. Here we are. DeSanta. Come on, man. Cowards die many times. Your master! Good news, good news. The coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Dame el lord. Dame el lord. Besito. Besito. Don't be so conventional. Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent. Now save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you. For all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect them then. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón. Go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Come, my friend. It is time to bring this man to justice. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Right shotgun with the Santa. All right, I'm riding shotgun. Come on, the Santa. Let's go. We ain't got all day. This is very good news, my friend. And I say the Colonel will find this man for you. For your sake, you best be telling the truth. You have my word. After that trick you pulled on me with the munitions train, I ain't sure that means very much. You have Espinosa to blame for that. Come now, John. After everything we've been through, I think we can trust each other, don't you? How did you find him? They were captured just outside Chubarosa. Every rat must come out of his hole eventually, being held in the church. A chance for them to contemplate heaven. Before you send them to hell, we have the area surrounded. Oh, cheer up, John. This is what you came for! You're so tense all the time! Come, let's have some fun! Little competition with my soldiers to see who's the best shot! What do you say? Anything better than talking to you! Ah! Excelente! Okay, each man gets five shots at the local wildlife. Whoever kills the most, I will give $25. Carlitos, muestrale como se hace! No tienes ninguna posibilidad! Soy el mejor tirador en todo Nuevo Puerto Rico. tell me why you're hunting this outlaw. I guess it beats getting a real job. You know, you were less secretive. People might be more inclined to trust you. Are you married? Or do you rape young girls like your current? No, I could never touch a woman like that. It's not my way. But for them, it's an honor to please the leader. My wife and child have been taken from me. That's why I have to find these men. I can sympathize with you, Senor Marston. <laughs> I'm married to my country. And these rebel traitors, they're trying to take it from me. No, I never took a wife. A woman can be a powerful force. Like my mother, or a destructive woman. Like my mother. I find a better to avoid them. Too many strong men become weak by giving them to temptations of the flesh. Okay, let's go again. Canizales, let's turno. Now you will see, gringo! We should get closer. 
So this means your time in Mexico is coming to an end. I hope so. You know, I will be glad to see you leave. No, you won't. You have helped many people. I'm just glad Coronel Allende was able to offer you the skip in return. Hmm. One brave man. Does your brave colonel ever leave the world? I haven't seen him anywhere. Whoops, I didn't mean to skip destination. You're saving your bullets for Tuparosa. I see. Here we are. Go, my friend. They're in the church. They're in the church, huh? Willi Williamson and Escuela. We'll see about that. There's nobody in here. <laughs> Gracias for your service to this land. <laughs> I knew something was off. <sighs> Can't believe I fell for it. I have no idea what just happened. There are more coming, Joe. It just went all blurred for a second, so what happened? I do not know. It seems like Abraham Reyes came and got me. Lucky for you, I arrived when I did. I guess we're even there. Find your weapons and fight these dogs! That's all I got is a knife. That's not gonna suit me. I was the traitor. He betrayed me. My brothers! Today, we have proven that the days of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men! But, 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 el trabajo! The job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight on day and night 
until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, again they will know justice. My brothers, fight on. In our hearts, we are all free. Let us make it so. Viva la revolución. Viva Mexico. 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 Hmm. Hey, what happened to my poncho? I lost my poncho. I am sad. Pay bounty? Huh. Poppycock. Vicky crap. Well, the only way I can get it if I have my pro vacant property back, or not vacant property, uh, if I buy some property. But how much it was? It, how much was it here? I forgot. Please tell me it's not much. Two hundred. Okay, that's fine. I don't think my dear wife would appreciate that too much. Yeah, let's put my poncho back on. Thank you. Okay. So let's see here. Who's closer? Luisia. Alrighty. Hey, get back here. Come on, we gotta go see Luisia. has for me this time. Hopefully something useful. Or she probably wants me to do an our favor for her. Who knows? We'll see. on here father Abraham hey senor you want trouble friend manos arriba Antilas. are these bandits tranquilo tranquilo amigo Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. Mercy. Taking my knife and gun. Oh. El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Uh -huh. Oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. 
They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can. But I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. <clears throat> While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family. Just because. Please. Good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you. Out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Come on! The army convoy is already on its way. Here I am, riding shotgun again. Are we gonna talk, or are we gonna s skip to destination? I'm sorry about your father. His death must not be in vain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. A man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chupa Rosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family. But I still can't forgive you for helping again. For what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Well, Linde betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. But me, you, him, we're all shooting people. Don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston? Ideals we hold, there can <laughs> never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish, we fought off the French, we even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence, and all we've done since then is fight each other. At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso, New Paradise. One day, it will live up to its name. Some paradise. Alright, we're skipping the destination. Because I doubt there's any more talking. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. Are we going to steal their supplies? No. Destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good. Because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. For your father. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. Vale, where do you want it? 
show the rebels where to bury the explosives on the road. Start here! And here! Here! Here's good! And the last one here! Good! Now go! Luisa is waiting for you at the top of the hill! Here we go! How in the world did you get up there? Oh, boy. I know that. I'm just... Okay. I'm trying to get on top of the hill, but I can't get on top of the hill. Oh. There was a trail. Okay. I'm glad you are here to help us. They are coming. Get ready, John. There it is. Get ready. Okay, there's the convoy. The first one, at least. The first one is nearby. Come to it. That did it. Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. I would hope so. I've been doing a lot of favor for these guys, and I have not even got a single information about, about Bill Williamson or Javier Escuela. So, mm -hmm. I think we got time for one more mission. But I'm gonna have to fast travel, so let's see here. Let's go see Luisia again. Barossa. Okay. Come on. Come on. Let's get this mission done. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Go! 
Come on. Come on. Let's get her done. Let's get this mission done and over with. Captain DeSanta's downfall. Oh, okay. Cool. What is it? Ah, my. John! John! Thank God you have come. That wretched animal DeSanta has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulco. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. That was quick. I don't know how much time we have. Let's go! Well, let's not make it waste time. Let's go. Let's hurry. Let's go. Let's ride out. Probably be the first one there. I'm following the tracks. The tracks will lead me to him. Can I make it? Made it. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes las últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick! Guess I'm leading an assault. You're finished! You hear me? Come on. I got less of him. I gotcha. <laughs> Let me go. I am begging you. Come on. If you kill me, we'll have the entire Mexican army after you. We'll see about that. Let's go. Spare me, and I will make you a rich man. I'm sparing you nothing. Cuidado! Oops. Hey, get back here. Tell me. Casa Madruga. It's all that there. La 
Oh, hurry up and kill me. Or just let me go, okay? Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Uh, I'll pay you. Think about your family. I'll let the rebels take him. If you don't kill him, we will. Go ahead. He's all yours, fellas. I got what I need. Esto es para Mexico. It is done. Come on. Now we find your friend. What are you doing? Trying to. I thought that was my horse. Get back here. Go. Keep Come. moving. Oh. Thank you, compadre. It should really have been you. I don't like to kill a man on his knees, even if he does deserve it. Well, now I got. Responsible for hundreds of innocent dead. Maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. The Santa is dead. The army is without leaders. We must move on against them now before it's too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Yeah, first we gotta find Javier Escuela. Long time ago, but not anymore. All friends make their worst enemies. You're telling me. Escuela is known in this province. He was a revolutionary once, but then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody who will pay. That sounds about right. This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? Ahora mismo! Just killed an innocent woman. Yikes. Whew. Hey, you lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <laughs> Well, that's just great. <sighs> no Javier Escuela. Well, I guess I shouldn't have expected from Ca Captain DeSenta. Well, now he's dead, so. With that, we are going to end the video from right here. I all hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit it down in the comment section. Want to be part of the Screaming Eagles for more exclusive content? Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jet Eagle 101. Have a good one.